welcome back to our channel welcome back welcome back welcome back and for those who are new i am lottie and i'm win today guys we have a very special guest we're all about talking about love because you know the month of February just ended and I'm sure a lot of you have celebrated some lovely Valentines with those who have a spouse and those who don't have a spouse. Well, today's guest has really changed the dating game and also marriage game, I would say, because she's enabled people to get married legally online. All online. If you guys have not heard about WebWed, well, you have to hear this for yourself. Backstage, we have a lovely Mr. and Mrs. JC and Randy Banks. We are not going to keep them for long. They are the founders of WebWed and we are happy to have them here today. Very excited. <laughs> Very excited talk about everything about how they came up with the idea to where they are now to future projects perhaps and our story our story a little snippet we got married <laughs> through my friend oh my yes true stay tuned welcome 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 everyone <laughs> hi <Hello. laughs> how are you guys today great 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 how about yourself okay. Very well, thank you. Yeah, very well. It looks really nice and sunny there, so that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really glad the snow and certain things are gone. It could be cold tomorrow. We're we have, but we try. Oh yes, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's nice to know. So we are so happy to have you today. As we said, WebWed got us married, and without you guys, we would not be married today. Exactly, you know, exactly. especially during a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, got that yes um to start with i would say would you like to introduce yourselves to everybody sure so yes, that's watching my name is jc banks i'm randy banks and we're the founders of web web we'd like to say that we are the gurus of legal technology <laughs> so i guess i can tell you a little bit about how we started web web yes okay, please. So, don't want to tell my age for all of you out there, but years and years ago um, in law school, actually it was an insurance class and it was a case that stood out to me and you may have heard it, uh, um, Tom and David Bridegroom. Yes, the last name is Bridegroom. So it was an insurance case, but before same-sex marriages were legal in a lot of different marriages, a lovely couple, very successful in, in business as well to always have your business together so one of them tragically died but because they couldn't you know get legally married it was so much you know such a, a legal battle and at that point I thought you know it doesn't matter about race jurisdiction um, gender love is love and mm -hmm. at that point that's when I had the thought of web web and I, I told my husband he's a sound engineer very quiet but the brains behind the technology um, I told him about it and you know for years it just was important to me so immediately I basically started to patent the idea and we found out very quickly as you know at that time newly married and new uh, new lawyer that it wasn't um, you know easy to develop a lot of the technology so we actually went back to school to learn how to code we bootstrap and for those of you who don't know what bootstrapping is it's really what we all should do in business you should believe in yourself and you also should do the work and then sub financially back what you believe in and a lot of investors and people like to see that so that's what we did and it took a while we developed the technology which is called commutech and for all of you out there, what Commutech does, it amalgamates an indirect human experience. So we basically had cyber jurisdiction. So before Facebook or all these other apps out there, um, we actually were the first to ever stream. So that was crazy. And no one else can say that. If you look at their saying, no one else can say it. So we believed in ourselves. We did that. And yeah, we were on Shark Tank a couple of months later. And... Yeah. It just took off for there. So it was important to believe in yourself and do the work. It's and I was all okay. calling or a cause. And I just felt like this was mine. Oh, lovely. Right. I think you've actually answered one of our first questions you know, about, yeah. about yourself. And so the idea, as you said, that was amazing. The fact that you came up from a case and then you saw a niche and you was like, this is lovely. Love is love. Indeed. We do believe in that mm -hmm. for sure. 
Um, our next question would be, what was the motivation behind your idea? So originally it, it started off as, like I said, the case. And it was more, a, a, I was bothered that because of a person's gender or race or jurisdiction, that they couldn't get married. And it wasn't at that point that I realized that marriage is, 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 is legal. Marriage is really a contract. At least that's how the government looks at it. And But I knew that marriage was a constitutional right. And that's what stood out. And that's the one thing that connects us all. No matter who we are, where we are, we all know right. that we are this so at that point that was that was my motivation because i'm a person that's really passionate um about justice so and i just felt that it was a constitutional right it was something that you know hadn't changed in years about what marriage is what what's the difference from a marriage and a wedding what makes it legal what's a contract so it it was the legal part that really you know kind of brought me to it and i didn't realize you know how many issues there were um in marriage so that motivated me to want to create something for everyone a legal way that you could get married you know to be together because the case really bothered me yeah well we did forget to mention for those who don't know jc is also an attorney right yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. the legal part comes into play now right yes <laughs> if we combine the three most powerful elements in the world love law technology i'm the law that's the technology and i love them a lot but my son and these are my other children it's the love oh. Oh, <laughs> <my goodness. laughs> that question, yes. Uh, so, next question If you had an inclination of how much resilience was required to achieve your gene, would you still have pursued it? Of course. Everyone knows me, knows the worst thing that you can tell me is that no. <laughs> uh, or, um, you know, you can't do this without me, or it can't right. be. Yeah. So I, when I was brought up, we all know that can't is is not in a man or a woman's vocabulary. So I knew it was really an uphill battle, but I wouldn't change anything because what we do um, has changed lives. It's, it's been the difference of people being together, families being together, um, with insurance. It's just, it's a lot of things that come in place. So I wouldn't change anything. You wouldn't. I believe that as well because I think the world does need a place where they can feel like the need if they want to get married it's not about borders and how far you are apart with technology we should be able to have done this ages ago right right you think about it yeah yeah in yeah. hindsight we were doing this before the pandemic so wow. yeah. before the pandemic we actually started doing this in 2015 we performed the first one in 2016 so wow. we have been doing it a long time you want to piggyback on how long we've been doing it or our clients or anything yeah, it was, yeah. wow it was more of the military we mm -hmm. a lot of military soldiers it made more sense because a lot of soldiers was, you know all abroad and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you know we had, we had this technology and this formula already before the pandemic so when the pandemic happened we just opened it up for then, yeah yeah okay so question four let's see please take us through the steps of how somebody would like to have an online wedding and how the services work in your website okay yeah, perfect um, before we marry anyone, the most important thing is that we adhere to all the guidelines of the different countries, the different states, you know, just different courts, different marriage gurus, because even though there's a standardized law, the procedures may be differently. So first we start off with the qualifications and make sure that you're 18 years or older, you're both now mind, you wanted to get married on your own free will, you're not blood related, believe me, we see it all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I currently married it all and that you have an updated um, mobile device so that's the um, that's the most important thing to make sure that they legally qualify once you legally qualify it's about five quick steps you're gonna go to our website or app which is web web mobile and you're gonna pre-register after you pre-register you're gonna pay for your packages which is either international or US after that we have automated the system to do a lot. You fill out the application online. We get you scheduled online. We marry you online. You get a digital copy online. But then we do mail you out a hard copy um, if you need one, along with a postal and legalizations. 
So it's very easy. It's very easy and straightforward. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For all those who need this information, where to go, where to find all this, don't worry. It will be in our description below, so that'll be okay. But yeah, we did it ourselves, so we know how easy this is. That will be in a minute. We'll mention how we got married through Webred. Let's get to number five question first. Uh, what type of wedding packages do you offer? Okay, so we've actually evolved a lot into the packages and that contributes to a lot of people. So we have three packages. One is what we call special moments and that is somebody that's renewing their vows or maybe you just uh, want to have a, a proposal or just basically stream it where your family and friends can see the difference between this and everything else everything we do is private and secure you actually own it so that's that's the difference you do anything else on the platforms they actually you know own it so that's the difference the next package is for us package if both are u.s citizens and then we have an international package if both or one is U.S. Um, citizen. So we generally just have three packages to choose from. Lovely, yeah. Brilliant. And I'm going to quickly go into question six. What type of challenges do couples tend to face when using your services, if any? If any. The main challenge that we see is not um, indirectly with using the service, but we still have to re realize that even though you're legally married in the U.S. and all countries recognize you as marriage licenses, that's not it. People think that you get married and you simply, okay, I can come here. The challenges are you still have to adhere and abide by immigration. You still have to, you may have to register in another country and they may have steps that you have to do. So a lot of times, because we're not privy or we can't give legal advice about the laws in other countries, that kind of makes it not really challenging to get married but after fact when they're trying to do other things so what we've done in a lot of ways we've learned those processes or put together legal resources so that like uh, my favorite word is being proactive and not reactive so when we see that they're in another country or if they open up with what they're trying to do we make sure that we have guidelines now so that they can uh you know get through or know exactly where to go because timing is everything no, we agree. That's yeah. very true. Yeah, that's really lovely service for people, especially for people who are trying to move to the other countries or like in the US, you know, get those papers sorted. Right. Yeah. Okay. So number seven, really, it's about us a little bit. Yes, I love so. <laughs> a little bit. So yeah. we got married in the middle of the pandemic. And people know I'm from the UK when my husband is from the US and WebWord came up as a literally like a godsend gift to us because we first saw it online and we were thinking, hmm, what is this? Is this real? We almost thought it was like a fake thing, you know? So lo and behold, it was not fake because we were able to get married online and the service was quite quick for us we went with the international package like you mentioned and we had our certificates straight up i think it was like a week later less yeah. than that it arrived in the uk apostilled already yeah. um you have to pay for that service as well if you need it um but the service was quite brilliant jc you married us yeah <laughs> <laughs> You know, it was a beautiful wedding, I would say. I mean, nothing I would take away from it. Um, quite straightforward. Like you said, the technology was amazing. Just very easy to walk through. Even the services online. When we had a marriage, I think it was marriage education before we got married from you guys. And that's actually free, literally, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was amazing. Anything you should add, babe? <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was so good. It was godsend. It was like, you know, when we found you, it was like we have to make sure everything was legit. And you know, you when you're apart <laughs> when you're apart, you know, you really want you really think about what matters most in your life. And I'm just so thankful that <laughs> you were sent to us and that that we are able to make it happen. No, for sure, for sure. I mean twenty twenty, you know, who would have known people would be getting married online? Especially when you're <laughs> Well, but and and for everyone that's watching and listening, and a testament just to you know, just to you too, 
um, love is so much bigger and marriage is so much bigger than a piece of paper with so much going on, such as, you know, war and different things. Love is the thing that, that takes us, you know, brings us together. We need to display that more. We need to have that readily available. And I'm talking about love and marriages that last just because it's online. I always say it doesn't matter how you get married, but why? And we have to hold on um, to the why. And to piggyback what I was going to say, I said, people that are watching, you have to walk into the purpose that's for you. Well, well was for us to do. And a lot of times as people in normal, we shy away from things maybe that are not shining or that are not easily done. But yeah. I'm so glad that we didn't shy away. Um, I'm glad that we didn't shy away from the task because the task wasn't for us. It was for us. So you don't know who, who your path is connected to so whatever dream that you have purpose you have to follow through with it and it's not when it's going to happen it's not it's not if it's when uh or basically when it's going to happen and we always knew always was ready and as long as we believed and we believed in love love care no we believe it because without you guys i don't think we would be able to get married during the pandemic <laughs> not on the lockdown as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay. So, um, this is a good question. What do you love most about your job and working for yourself, JC and Randy? Um, yeah. <laughs> I think what I love most about is basically, first of all, to do something with a purpose. Um, a lot of people, they do things that people have done before, but it's rare that you do something that has never been done before. So, to know how we will be remembered of making a difference that that's um that's everything to me and to be able to do it you know with my family you know with my son who is 15 he's about to be 16 now you know the whole process. and if anybody goes back and look at videos they see him as a little boy and now you see him growing up he's about to be 15 but we were able to show him that ordinary people do extraordinary things he didn't have to go and see it just from lebron or someone we were able to to show him that and to be able to work together you know do it our way and it and it works and it wins i think that's the best thing it's truly inspirational Literally, very yeah. inspirational it's that it looks very, like yeah your yeah. story is inspiring me it's like um you know if you work hard if you believe in yourself you can achieve anything. You can. You sure can. Yeah. Oh, does no. When I tell you, it, we were we travel all around the world. Just and we're yes. two people in love from originally Memphis, Tennessee, <laughs> that just believed in his purpose. We went to almost every state, uh, almost every country, and this is back. And everyone thought that you know, like, what's you know, what's wrong with them? But I bet. you know. <laughs> <laughs> ourselves is that when you learn in anything that you do that you control the yes then those don't exist anymore we give people in words too much power and i get a long time ago i agree i completely agree with that statement yeah <laughs> okay do you have a favorite love story that you are privy to share the who are people who have used web web services so like you don't have to disclose their names, please, because of data protection and all that. But, you know, anyone or a love couple that you would love to share their story or journey, I would say. That's exactly to you uh, more. I, I, I would always... Huh? Richard. Yeah, I would say Richard. I can say his name. So, Richard and Donna. <laughs> okay. So, they were um, actually... Um, well, besides Jessica, yeah. <laughs> we have to. Okay. <laughs> so, Jessica, she was uh, the first person that we uh, married live. We married them on Sh Shark Tank, and Kevin O'Leary actually did that ceremony. That wow. was so special because we were able to show the world and show people exactly how, how it worked, and it worked 100%. And then the next one, that was the first U.S. And then the first international was Richard and Donna. And the reason why was because um, with them, it, it was just even bigger than, it was bigger than love. These um, two people, one's in the Philippines, one was here. And it was just unheard of. It was unheard of. They are actually the first international um, online wedding ever in the world. 
But the reason why theirs is so important, and I think theirs was more closer to 2019. The reason why it's so important, um, they shared their journey and they stopped and they helped a lot of people along the way. A lot of people along the way. I mean, showing them the right way. And so many times we 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 see people as uh, you know just sort of negative things, but these were people that we never met. Listen, never met a day in our life, and they single-handedly walked us and handed us through everyone in the Philippines. It's because of them that we are so recognized even by that government. And listen to this: no cost, zero involved, just just to see good people helping. It was like the right. pay for it move movement which thank you you don't see the good in people and, thank you. Mm -hmm. and i was able to see that good and they work um just because now imagine people that you've never met before and he was the first the visa internationally but he just wow. the first of everything so we just continue to um um and, and the armstrong family that's their their youtube we had never really even even tech people heard of YouTube and things, but they knew everything about us. And it's just their journey. Now their family is together. They're building their house together. I see them because to see the journey. Like a lot of times we don't get to see the journey with you guys. We get to see the journey. We need, yeah. to how, we need to show the world love. We need to keep showing these images. Yeah. Well, it's about the experience, not just the you know financial point of it. So I think that's that's important and that's what inspired me. That's why I follow I live through you guys so much. I tell them all the time just because uh, thank you. <gasps> you know, sometimes we, we have to be the difference that we want to see in the world. We have to be the couple that we want to be. And I just see you guys <laughs> that and not let any obstacles get in your way. Amen to that. Yeah, we do try. I mean, Mexico, we've been, um, you know, yeah. we're back in England here now, and we might be going to Africa to Spain. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we are truly blessed and thankful, really. Yeah, yeah very, yeah. very thankful. Some beautiful love stories, too. Yeah. I think each story has its own value, its own uniqueness, and if you make it, you know, it's, it's very beautiful, you know? Yeah, because when you're in it, in this situation, you always never think that other people are in the same situation. That makes sense. So it's always good to hear these stories, like you say, like where people have overcome and they've been able to find love and they're together now as a family. That's just beautiful, you know? Mm -hmm you know and it must be very fulfilling as well for yourself because you're doing something back to the world and i think that most of us should aspire to find ways and how we can give back and like you said pay forward you know in our jobs every day basically you know yeah um percent <laughs> Uh, what would you tell our viewers with regards to having their own dreams and ambitions oh. <laughs> Faith is a substance of things for evidence of things not seen. We always say we walk by faith and not by sight. Sometimes it's just having a dream or a business. You can't see it. You're really literally walking blind. But, you know, we have other senses that can guide us through, right? So you yes. have to keep <laughs> have believing it's possible. You know, I was one of those people. I've always worked hard and I wondered, you know, could I accomplish, you know, certain levels of success? But I had to redefine success for myself, redefine happiness. It wasn't to that moment that I controlled my yes, that everything and every business, and, and let me tell you something, I have a couple of businesses and they all do great because we stand by that. Just, just one mantra is that there is no no, we control the yes and we do the work. So you have to really make sure that you believe in yourself and do the work and no long no matter how long it takes. If it's yours, if it's for you, if nobody can take it from you. That is the right. truth. Mm -hmm. right. We believe that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. So we've got two more questions, I think. Let's yeah. see. So next question. Uh do you have any other upcoming projects or ideas that you would like to share with us today? Sure. So one is gonna sound quite weird. I sure too with you know two, it was, we just launched I divorce you, so people are like, Lord, <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> yeah. 
marriage education. So no, so but in the all sense, we develop um, also a very similar way to get divorced online. But this is why this divorce technique is very important. It's a collaborative divorce. So many times we hear of uncontested or contested as being such a fight. And sometimes a lot of people have children, they still have love. So we wanted a way for people to get divorced where it wasn't just a judge making the decision. It was both making, doing what's best for them, what's best for the children long term without, you know, the, the court setting, but the same court procedural so it can be legally. So that's I divorce you. And it's catered around people who have got in married online, but you don't have to get, you know, have gotten married online to use the service. So that's, you know, we're so excited about about that because there are some people that maybe want to get divorced just to get married or just for different yeah, know, yeah. reasons. Yeah, but sure. it's not what you're doing is the way. And so the way that we're doing. So we put a lot on the education, on the therapy. Uh, we have a lot of those things in there so that it's a support system through and after your divorce and that's what's lacking we have to kind of you know when something is broken we, we want to just not put it together but help it heal um so that's that and then later on we're so excited about dating to wed that's going to come out and i'm really excited about that one because i wanted to build not just another dating platform i want to build a platform for a serious um uh, daters and long distance relationship where you knew off the bat that that person first of all everything is verified and authenticated so it's a big background system that comes with being able but then also the parties you know basically what you're looking for you know that i want to get married i want to spend the rest of my life it's not just the dating and the beauty about this is that it records your journey so that a lot of people in long distance relationship they have to get involved in immigration to meet all the qualification it checks all the boxes off so that when you're ready, your file is ready to go. You send it to immigration and that's it. It's called dating to wed. So we're looking to launch that later to the end of this year, but stay tuned. We could move it up. I divorce you is live now. Lovely. That's oh brilliant. my God. Dating to wed is amazing because yeah. we would have used that service when exactly. we were long distance. Exactly. So absolutely amazing. I'm sure that's going to help a lot of couples, especially couples who, like you said, you were serious to get married. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, guys, you heard that yourself very soon later <laughs> on. And I divorce you live as we speak. So, dating to wed is coming up very soon. Very, very soon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is last but not least is where do you see yourself or yourselves <laughs> and with what in the next five to ten years? I think Randy answered it first because I'm going to see what he's going to say. <laughs> uh, pretty much just in the journey, journey that we're doing is just expanding um, and constantly helping you know everyday people that that, that need our assistance. Um, five to ten years. Five to ten years. Yeah, that's. You're gonna be old. We go. Yeah, we we <laughs> old. <laughs> <laughs> I think for for us, I, I just um, I wanted to make it an international platform that's really incorporated into. I'm, I'm not stopping into immigration change. Let's just put it out there. I'm basically. <laughs> I would like to change the way that marriage and marriage is looked at globally and make web web a global platform kind of like the, the dmv a lot of people don't understand that dmv is not and that's where you get your driver's license here in the u.s it's not government but maybe an agency where you can go to that you're not judged but on a, a universal system that's used so that marriage and immigration can, can you know can go a lot smoother and not smoother. yeah not, not feel like you're in a trial this is your <laughs> this privacy it should be a better system and the country should work better together just like you have interpol and a lot of different things yes make a uniform um marriage system or bureau that's adopted in all countries and that wow. is yeah. what i see in the next five to ten years the only way that it does not happen is if somebody offered me a big all check for well <laughs> And then I will continue to fight as a lobbyist. 
<laughs> I bet no, no. Mm-hmm. Oh God, winning the next five to ten years, you achieve that and even more, because you know, like you said, marriage should not be something very difficult for couples who are in love and not want to be together for the rest of their lives. Right. No matter what borders they come from, what country, it should be very easy, like you said, like Interpol, where it is this one central database where people can use and they can get married and make it that easy basically you know yeah yeah yes. um believe in that and i get and now we really won't stop um because again it's not about the money it's a, it's a reason behind it and i always say people say you know people like martin luther king they don't exist anymore where they exist in me there are there are people that stand up and fight and maybe not the traditional way but we are definitely fighting for love and marriage and we won't stop until you know you know justice happens in my eye we believe in that we believe actually love is the most powerful i would say energy force where we go in the universe so it can move mountains yeah so, I, mm-hmm. I, 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. thank you so so much for joining us both of you yes. i'm sure you have so many things to do today but you gave us a little bit of your time yes thank you for your time <laughs> you know we might do this more often probably once you've launched you know dating to wed that would be amazing to have you guys again on the show but it's been quite in special like really inspirational today Very. um to hear how you've changed the world basically and but for you guys, just to let you know, during a pandemic, 2020, we would not be sitting here as man and wife, married, legally, you know? Um, so we are truly humbled and very thankful. Yes, yes. <laughs> and yeah. what, you know, for having us, thank you so much, just, you know, just for believing, um, for people to just to believe in everyday people um, like us, and that's what you did. That means a lot um, because we do what we do because we really want to help and love. And just like you, we were coming into it blind, but we came with a pure heart. So I just thank you for giving Well Well a chance. We're not a big name, but like I said, we're, we're big and doing things the right way and for the right reason. Thank you again. So guys, again, you saw it for yourself. You witnessed it. Yeah, it was uh, quite an amazing story to say the least. Yeah, amazing and truly inspirational for all those lovers out yeah. there. You know where to go now. WebWed is there for you to get married online. It does not matter what country you come from. Just go in and check it for yourself. We are living testimony. Mm-hmm. Without them, we would not be man and wife. Right. So. Thank you again. For, if you need any information about it, it will be in our description below. And as usual, stay tuned for much more. Thank you again. Thanks. Bye. Bye.